Okay, I took the transmission off. I think there's seven bolts around here. There's guide pins here and here with bolts through them. And two on the bottom. I loosened those earlier. And I think that's one here. I think that's it. And I'm gonna loosen I loosened these. You want to loosen them kind of evenly all the way around so you don't warp anything. And once they're loose like they are now, then the clutch disc moves around in there. And now I'm going to take that the rest of the way off and transfer it to the new engine. Okay, there's a look at the pressure plate and clutch disc. <clears throat> I'd like to put a new clutch disc in, but the pressure plate is self-adjusting, and so you have to uh, set that back for a new plate <clears throat> or buy a new one. And I think it was... Last time I did it, it was like four hundred dollars. So I don't know. I might, I might see if I can reset that and just get the disc. I might just leave it. I haven't decided yet. And there's the flywheel that's got to come off. Next, flywheel's off. Ring gear is in good shape. Surface isn't too bad, so I think that's all fine. There's where it came off. The other engine that I'm putting in had a automatic transmission apparently because it's got the plate on here with the torque converter built bolts on but it looks like it should transfer the flywheel should transfer over just fine that'll be the next step here's my strut fix the strut tower was cracked and the strut was very loose in there so I got a piece of metal and welded another cap on here there's plenty of room for the nut to go, go on still, so hoping that'll make it strong enough now.